my impatient lines you hate to some say Well she was creeping to the top and I was taking people's breath away They make me a poster of an old rodeo Just give me one thing that I can hold on Believing is living is just a hard way to go. Welcome to the Charleston Gilliard Center's virtual series, Low Country Listens. I'm Richard Todd, host of The Morning Buzz on 105.5 The Bridge, and I'm thrilled to be a part of this initiative showcasing local emerging artists. Tune in each week to enjoy an incredible performance in the beautiful Martha and John M. Rivers Performance Hall. We would also like to thank our Low Country Listens media partners, 105.5 The Bridge and the Charleston City Paper. Tonight's performance features Admiral Radio. Inspired by the prior life of their old wooden radio, Admiral Radio creates a unique sound that people can gather round to, one that is deeply rooted in traditional folk style, but also has the ability to touch the heartstrings of modern day listeners. Becca and Cody met in 2014 and are both graduates of the College of Charleston, where they studied world languages. Their debut album, Sounds Like You, which they co-produced with Todd Mathis, will be released on Friday, August 7th. Tonight, they are accompanied by Steven Sandifer, local music veteran and accomplished touring musician with many acts. Please welcome Admiral Radio. Give me 
Animal Radio. Thank you so much for having us, the Gilliard Center. We love y'all. Uh, we're so thrilled to be with you here today. We're going to sing you a few of our original songs. Uh, that first one that we played for you is called Forgive Me Not. So if you didn't get the message of that, that particular song, it was about a relationship that went southward. It's about being bad at relationships. <laughs> So we're going to keep it rolling. Uh, it is a little funny not having a true blue audience here, but uh, we're just so thrilled and thankful to actually be playing our original music, which we've missed doing so much. So we'll sing you a song called Fear of Leaving. And this song is really special to us, so we hope that you like it.
<laughs> well, uh, like Becca was telling y'all, we're super happy to be here. My name's Cody. This is my wife, Becca. And we've got Steven Sandifer back here. And it's uh, always so nice to have him play with us. He just kind of <sighs> so happy elevates it. He could be here with us today. Um, we didn't know we loved the third part harmonies as much as we do until Steven came along. So we're so happy to, to have him here with us today. So we'll sing uh, Drinking and Thinking, right? right. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to multitask if, you know, you partake in, in the drinking and you try to think. It can be a little hard, but other times you can't really separate the two. So uh, this song is called Drinking and Thinking, and we hope that y'all will like it. So that song um, is about a good friend of ours who, when he drinks too much, gets very sentimental. <laughs> I think we all have that one friend, right? <laughs> who gets uh, who gets a little a little emotional, but that, that's all right, you know. So that song was inspired by our friend. So we just like to say, you know, keep it up, keep up that that good writing material because we're pretty boring on our own. So <laughs> we've got to draw from other uh, inspirations. Well, speaking of being boring, this song is about one of our experiences. Um, <laughs> it was the it's, first... I like this song. Oh, it's a great song. <laughs> it's um, about our one of our, I guess, trips with some friends to Myrtle Beach, actually. Um, and we thought it was kind of funny, this, this two-star motel that we stayed at just kind of let us do whatever we wanted. 
Um, so we were like, hey, let's write a song about that. And it was going to be a funny song, but then it turned up being a love song. Yeah, I like the meaning of this song we'll play for you now, called Two Star Motel. Um, to me, the meaning of this song, that, and the reason why I never get tired of playing it or singing it, is because the words, I feel, that they say, you know, it doesn't matter what our circumstance is or what our house looks like or what our car looks like. You know, as long as I'm with you or I'm with the person that I love or I have people in my life that I love, that's really all we need at the end of the day. So it doesn't, doesn't really matter, uh, you know, if you're staying in the Ritz Carlton or a two-star motel because as long as you have the right people with you, the rest doesn't really matter.
Stellar. <laughs> All right, so um, every song that we've played so far is going to be on our debut album, and that album titled Sounds Like You will be coming out August 7th, so we're very excited about that. We are, yeah. Um, we'll be uh, really excited to finally get some of our original music out. We have not done enough of that, so we're really excited uh, through everything going on. Uh, we've just decided to go ahead and put it out, and hopefully it will do something for some people out there. We don't know. But uh, this next song we will play is actually a newer song that we wrote during the quarantine, and it's called Troubles of Man. And earlier we were chatting about building uh, bird houses and things like that during the quarantine. And Cody and I got really into bird watching. So uh, we have a little bird feeder right outside of our window, and it's been such a pleasure for us to watch the birds and study the birds and learn more about what they are and uh, what their calls are like. We're trying to get get it all down. But At the beginning, Becca was like, I totally want to learn all the bird calls. And I was like, that's not even possible. But now <laughs> sometimes you'll hear something be like, that's an eastern towhee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, long story short, uh, we were inspired to write this song called Troubles of Man because, uh, you know, the natural world has a rhythm and it has such power that all of us down here just can't really comprehend and we can't compete with, with that. And so, especially during the quarantine, uh, spending a lot of time at home and just contemplating the world, the, the life that we all have all been living, um, you know, the troubles of man that exists down here among all of us are sometimes, depending on what you what you're thinking about, a little irrelevant to the sun continuing to shine and the birds continuing to sing and rivers flowing. So uh, this song is uh, one that we were inspired to write during the quarantine and uh, we hope that some people might identify with what we're going to say in this next song. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm just glad we got through that one because it's a newer one. So, um, you know. We weren't sure of the words yesterday. It's still coming along. But we did our homework. <laughs> we did our homework on that one. Uh, so this next song that we'll sing for you will be our last tune for the day. So we just want to say a huge, huge thank you to Low Country Listens here at the Gilliard Center. We're just so thrilled and honored and proud to be a part of this extremely creative and intimate series that, you know, they're doing. And it's just so important that we take the time to invest in our art, you know, our, our local art, our regional art, you know, everything is just so important. Um, and the Gilliard does a lot for that. So, you know, if you support them and you've enjoyed the show tonight, um, you know, please think about investing in their educational program. Um, you know, it's just such a wonderful thing for a child to be able to come into a place like this and experience art in a way that maybe they never have before. And who knows what kind of road that could lead them down. So um, I know how critical art has been for me in my life um, growing up. So, you know, we're just really excited to be here with the Gilliard Center tonight. So we'll close it out with this last song. It's called Sounds Like You. This is the title track of our debut album that we'll release for the whole world to hear on August 7th. So, all right. Thank you for performing for us today. We hope everyone out in the Low Country and our new virtual community enjoyed today's performance. You can hear more from me during the morning buzz on 105.5 The Bridge, weekday mornings from 6 until 10 a.m. 
And to view full Low Country Listens performances and learn about upcoming artists, visit gilliardcenter.org. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.